Hello everyone, Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. In my previous session we were uh, seeing the importance of event log messages in Android uh, where we saw different uh, messages like uh, what exactly is happening when the device is booting up, how to uh, correlate that with the logs and the related to power manager and few activity manager commands. Today's session will solely be uh, on based on activity manager. So let's start today's session. So event logs, I already told how to collect event logs. We have to use this adb logcat minus b events uh, adb command in order to collect the event logs. And I have already shown you all in my previous session how these logs looks like. So few uh, important activity manager related uh, events we will see in today's session. For example, uh, am underscore finish underscore activity. That means am stands for activity manager. A particular activity has been finished token is the name of the activity and one is the integer data type phi depicts the data unit that is the id of that particular activity we are uh, for this uh, finish when this finish will be called when this pause will be called all this you will understand if you go through the android activity life cycle uh, as i already told i have done videos on how this android activity life cycle uh, flow goes if you all go through that video and come back to this then you all will understand better event logs will basically capture when an activity is finished pause started all these things we will understand so that we can triage our issue very easily and debug our issue very confidently uh, that was about the finish activity let's move on to task to front that means a task is brought to the front of the screen i have already explained what is the task also in my uh, one of the sessions you all can go through and understand what is the task what are the different types of task and when exactly each task will be launched so uh, activity stack is called as a task and when uh, different apps are brought to the front the different stacks are called out so task to front means a task is being brought to the front of the screen am new intent as the log message itself tells an existing activity is given a new intent a new intent is created am create task that means i am creating a new task am create activity that means a new activity is being created see um, most uh, good thing about android is uh, most of the logs are self-explanatory like am underscore create activity will come to know activity is created create task new intent will come to know new intent is triggered most of the logs are user friendly uh, to read and they are uh, self-explanatory that's the good thing about android i am restart activity so whenever activity has been uh, resumed into the foreground but it was uh, not already running we call this restart activity resume activity when the activity is brought to the foreground we call this resume activity i am proc bound application process bound to work Amproc died it's easily understood application process has died so whenever an app is killed or whenever an app is uh, died we call this uh, i mean this log will be uh, logged in your event logs we do not call android system will log this particular line in the event log along with the process id of which application died and process name of which application has been killed and fail to pause the activity manager failed to pause the given activity okay when we call pause the particular activity is actually sent to background so when that action fails when i'm not able to send my app or activity to background this log will be logged in your event logs am pause activity as i already told attempting to pause the current activity proc start application progress has been started these are the uh, different uh, components i mean the different things like process name everything will be uh, logged in okay in your event log if you see uh, as i showed you all in my previous video we will have all this uh, populated with different integers and uh, the package names class name components name so it will tell me which process which process id 
is being started so we'll exactly come to know which app is killed or which app is started i am proc bad that means application process has been marked as bad i am proc good an application process that was bad is now marked as good i am low memory okay so low memory whenever the device runs into low memory condition this log is logged in the event log so reporting to applications that memory is low so we when we have uh, issues and we want to come to know uh, why this issue is happening is it because of the low memory in the device that time this log message really helps a lot so if we just search for this low memory and if we find this low memory in the event logs that means it's confirmed that our issue is happening due to low memory conditions of the device am relaunch resume activity activity has been relaunched it has been resumed and now it is in foreground okay that is the meaning of that and task id is the application id and component name the package name of the app am kill for memory so whenever there is less amount of memory in our device but we have a critical application to be executed that time kill when we kill a process to reclaim memory this log will be logged in our event logs uh, and uh, the out of memory uh, score all those things along with the process name will also be logged am process crashed too much so when a particular app or process has been crashed too many times this message will be logged telling it is being cleared am drop process an unknown process is trying to attach to the activity manager service crashed too much so here a process has been crashed too much here a service has been crashed too much and it is stopped uh, any service for example uh, system service activity manager or package manager wifi manager any service when it is crashing too many times this log is outputted in your event log so if we go through all this we exactly come to know the reason for our issue right suppose we write an application and that app is crashing multiple times we get this am process crashed too much so we are coming to know okay something wrong with the app i have written because it is crashing multiple times and when we see this am kill for low memory we will come to know okay some app is being killed or the app which i wrote itself is being killed by my uh, android system to reclaim the memory there is no memory in my device we get an idea of what exactly is happening in our device next i am schedule service restart so service is going to be restarted after its process went away provider lost process client was waiting for the content provider but its process was lost so whenever we are using a content provider in our uh, use case and uh, we uh, there is another application which is waiting for this content provider but that process was lost we will use this particular am provider lost process and we'll get to know the package name the uid and all those stuffs also in this logs so i hope uh, this was informative like what exactly is happening uh, for an application in our android device uh, that each and every state of that application will be logged into our event logs uh thanks everyone for watching i hope this was informative and helpful and you all understood the importance of event logs in android uh, when it comes to triaging or debugging a particular issue i'll see you all soon in my next session with another new topic until then everyone take care bye bye